All right, we are current testing a General Electric SKLC 3608L4XX. This has the Micro IntelliGuard trip unit. It has an 800 amp rating plug. Uh, the issue we're having today, or I guess let me back up. Uh, what we'll do is we take these breakers out of the box. We'll current injection test them. Um, that's done obviously through these cables that are hooked up to this copper detail and it's powered up through this multi-amp CB8160 test set. And then the circuit breakers are then typically checked as something like this called a time current curve. Uh, so what we've done today is we've gone ahead and tested a few of these and had some good success. We've gotten to about the fifth one and ran into a little bit of a roadblock. When we were doing our ground fault testing, uh, we were not getting a uh, trip time at all. Um, basically, I will go ahead and we can power this up either through the little portable test guy here. You can see just the control power is on. Again, sorry for the glare here. Um, so you can actually see, it did say it tripped at ground at one point. All right, so we come on over, we'll go to our status. And those are our settings, 1.0, seven delay, which is really C3, nine times on short time, one delay, 10 times on instantaneous, 0.5 on ground fault, two delay. That 0.5 multiplier is a multiplier of that 800 amp plug, which puts us at about 400 amps for ground fault. So we injected 600 amps current and did not get a trip. We had to actually go up over about 800 amps to actually get a response, which was unlike all the other units. Um, what we did notice, and what we can do is, um, we can actually shut this off just so this is out of the loop and not a problem. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll power up our test set here. Okay, our test set's running. Okay, you see we're injecting about 400 amps. So what we'll do is come over and check the meter here, the current ammeter. So if we go on down to, oh, my bad. If we go down to meter. Okay, so you see, and again, back up again, we're running current, single phase testing. Get that out of the way. On B phase, on the bottom, on the load side, and then the same thing on the line side. No connections, we're not running any phases in, in series or anything like that. Um, so you'll notice the meter, 404 amps on B phase, beautiful, that's what we like, 405 amps on the, on the machine. So that looks wonderful. The problem is you'll notice C phase, C phase is pulling 185 amps. So when it's doing its summation, right now the breaker only really thinks there's about a 220 amp ground fault going on. Um, I can go ahead and increase this current. Uh, since my setting is 400 amps and I'm single pole testing, you know, this thing should trip around 400 amps. Now, again, pick up tolerances and thresholds. I mean, you'll see we're going to get up to 600 amps here. Come on over, check our meter again. Again, we're a, B phase is monitoring correctly, but that C phase leakage current uh, is a problem. So that, that 261 amps is being subtracted from that 592, which leaves about 330 amps, give or take. Still not enough to create that 400 amp brown fault. So in order to get that 400 amps, I've got to increase this almost to 800 or 900 amps, which is a problem. Um, whether I, I bring my primary injection test current, in this case on B phase, or I move it over to A phase, the results are the same. C phase is always picking up some sort of leakage current, which is causing my ground fault calculations to be off. Um, so again, we can go ahead and see the breaker trip. So I've got to take my test current from 600, and I'll go ahead and increase that. and get it over about 700, you'll actually start to see a trip there. So uh, at some point it will respond. It just responds outside of what the, uh, the GE and Teleguard time curves are telling us. And you see this breaker here, no serial number label on the side. This is sort of the identification markings.
and just for the heck of it we did go ahead and try a new another new rating plug uh, so we've gone ahead and replaced that device twice two or three times just to make sure that wasn't an issue no issue there we've actually tried two of these just to make sure that that wasn't an issue again no change there we've gone ahead and tried different phases and still seem to get the same result um, so this is one of several that we've gone ahead and tested this is a particular box here um, but these four here so far uh, have all tested well and, and seem to fall in line with what we're seeing on the time curves this one unfortunately not so much.